Hey everyone, welcome to another uh, episode of, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all funny where uh, <clears throat> the points don't matter and all that stupid shit, um, yeah, uh, had the interview yesterday, had a lot of actually like appointments yesterday, um, I had an interview with, uh, you know, the, the girl uh, for the episode, I had a uh, doctor's appointment, which they didn't change shit. They didn't give me anything new, anything less. They were just like, oh, do 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 do. Okay, whatever. I still feel the same, but that's fine. And I had a couple of job interviews, which one of them actually offered me a job. So hopefully uh, I can, you know, I'll take that job. Fuck yeah, it's it's a job. I need fucking money, you know. And uh just finished school for the term, so that's cool. I know I got a C in one class and I think an A in the other. So hopefully that holds, because a C, uh, I don't mind. C's not bad. I don't, at least I don't think so. Um, To me, no, Uh, but we'll see. You know, we'll see how it goes. And hopefully this job that I'm accepting the offer with Goes off without a hitch, but I, I don't want to jinx it. That's just the way I am. So we'll see what happens. Um, uh, We can look at the news here. There's, I don't know. There's a lot of sad, not sad news, but like annoying news. Look, look at this. Biden drafts 100 billion foreign aid package, including money for Israel and Ukraine, which I'm cool with Israel because I guess they... They're going through stuff right now, but Ukraine's been going through stuff, and I feel like we've already sent them like a shit ton of money. Um, and Zelensky just keeps like begging people for money. Jesus Christ, like, dude, uh, what's he doing with all this money? You know. And then for Biden just to pull another hundred, but dude, all he does is keep pulling money out of his butt. Like, Jesus, dude, like. I don't know, where does this money come from? Like, the taxpayers? Because I know, I feel like another COVID starting again, and I don't know, it's just... And then there's a, a whatever, another fucking uh, election coming up soon, so, like, who's he trying to win the vote of if he's not helping a, our fellow Americans, he's helping everyone else in other countries, and they don't they don't vote for you unless... Uh, there's some sort of like, you know, thing we don't know about, buddy, wink, wink, you know, but I don't know, whatever. I don't vote. I'm not going to vote, uh, cause I just don't vote <laughs> to me. It's a waste of time, <sighs> but whatever that's life. Um, speaking of elections, uh, and yeah, this is weird news. I don't know why people pick up on this shit, but Grimes says on Twitter that Taylor Swift could unite the U.S. if she were president, even though it's probably exceptionally unadvisable, and that if she ran as a Republican, she would be unbeatable. And, I mean, I, I could see her winning. Uh, I don't know what change she would do, because even Biden probably doesn't have control over his you know presidents are just the face of everything they're not really like what do they actually do you know um and grimes as much as like i like her music she's just kind of a goofball uh so yeah but i don't think taylor swift would go as far as running for president i think she would heavily influence presidential elections but not actually run for president you know uh but who knows maybe maybe we'll see it uh, i would love to have her uh have kanye as her vice president <laughs> and her and make all the hard choices for her you know i don't know I, I would just love kanye in a presidential role you know but i don't think Taylor Swift's old enough you have to be like legit at least like 42 years old or something i remember Learning about that in in uh, grade school, that you had to be, like, over a certain age. And it's like, why? Like, that's already fucking old. You know, why do you... 
you, there shouldn't be like a limit to that, you know, uh, as far as like, you just have to be over 18. It's fucking weird. At least uh, let the rock run. I would like to see that a Samoan, a Samoan president um, have all the Samoans as his fucking uh, army, you know. Uh, let's see here. Here's another headline. Israel approves entry of humanitarian aid to Gaza from Egypt after U.S. pressure. Pressure. And I mean, that's cool. I, I feel like Israel didn't need to do this, especially after all the shit. Uh, supposedly, you know, Gaza did to Israel. And then they're just like reciprocating. Uh, but then everyone's like, well, you hit a hospital. You shouldn't blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, it's, it's fucking war. Hey, like Gaza has been doing all this fucked up shit to fucking Israel. And then Israel does like one fucked up thing and everyone's like, how dare you? And it's like, dude, like, how dare you? You remember that hippopotamus lady from fucking Rocco's Modern Life? How dare you? Every time Rocco would get stuck on her butt or something. Uh, cause he's so small and she's a big ass fucking hippo lady. But I mean, that's, I don't know. Yeah. U S pressure, which that means, Hey, we won't give you money if you don't do this. And you know, Israel, Israel, I think are like the kind of good guys in this where they're like, yeah, fine. You know, we'll help out, you know, whoever, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm on, uh, Israel side just cause I got my, my buddy living there, my homie, my homie Edgar Kure, uh, shout out to him. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I guess if I wanted like a team to win, it would be Israel. And then it seems like, uh, the other guys made the first shot. You know what I mean? Like, they struck struck first, so <laughs> stroke first. They struck first, so you know they're just getting reciprocated, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, that's terrible!" You know, it, it's war. I don't know what. At least they're not using fucking mustard gas like the fucking crazy ass World War Two or uh, fucking nukes and shit. You know. Oh, for now, for now. Um, but yeah, let's hope. Uh, for world peace, blah, 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 and all that gay shit, because, you know, we could really, I guess, use it, but then here's Biden, like, oh, I want to help uh, Israel and Ukraine and, <clears throat> you know, whatever. I don't know, man. Biden, I'm sure he's just uh, doing this for votes and clicks and, I don't know, whatever else, whatever weird shit he's... uh got his uh you know or like i said he's probably like doing this and he loves the war because it takes off attention from his son being like a you know a crack addict or a drug addict who fucking uh has these gun charges and they're gonna quietly be dismissed or something where everyone forgets about it but that's just life life people like to do that in politics finally on um uh, the news, Elon Musk is trying out a, uh, dollar per year, uh, fucking charge on Twitter in two test countries. And basically the charge is called the not a bot charge. Uh, it's starting in the Philippines and New Zealand. I guess they have a lot of bots there. And basically you pay a dollar a year and it's supposed to stop, you know, bots from, uh, being more easily on the site where they can comment shit and uh, reply to shit and like shit and kind of influence, you know, articles and whatnot. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, if you're a X user and you don't pay the fee, uh, you get these read only actions, which where you can read, watch videos, follow accounts. But that's it. No posting, no liking, no replying, no reposting, whatever. Uh, so I think that's cool. I mean, I, I, I have the uh, the stupid Twitter uh, checkmark bullshit. 
just because uh, I, I like to post longer videos on there. It makes me uh, happy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't, I wouldn't mind paying a dollar a year. What is that? That's a, a cup of coffee and a dollar a year. That's, that's not even a penny a day, you know, but, and then it's something I'm sure makes them profit or builds their profit somehow. And, uh, yeah, I could see how it would stop people from fucking, uh, you know, posting yeah, random shit and yeah, all that and influencing yeah. certain posts with bot accounts. But yeah, no, um, that's that's pretty much what we, we got today. I want to thank y'all for listening uh, to That's All Funny. It's available anywhere you listen to your podcast. Just search That's All Funny. If you want to listen to it on YouTube, just search for That's All Funny on there. YouTube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola for episodes, video episodes, and other random content. If you want to help support the podcast, check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. Just because I haven't uh, gotten remonetized on YouTube, it will be at least until Christmas uh, if, if I can reapply for it. And um, check out the website, retrohoring.com, for uh, exclusive merchandise like t shirts, prints, stickers. If you want to grab those, just. Hit me up on uh, Twitter, Instagram at Lorenzo Ariola. We'll figure it out. Or if you want to commission uh, one of a kind art for one of a kind artists, add Retro War on Instagram. Check out the website, RetroWarrior.com, for uh, you know, great looking art uh, for your podcast or your album or anything like that. But yeah, I want to thank you all for listening. Uh, take care, be safe, and have a great uh, rest of your day. <laughs> Well, I need you to